so we're back on the 800R dry spreader this afternoon. Um, we didn't get very much rain, so we're going to try to get this machine up and going this weekend. It's uh, Friday evening. We're going to stay a little late here at the uh, dealership and see if we can't run a couple of injector flush. So we basically went ahead and drained the system, um, got all of the water out of the system because we had water again and then of course the transmission wouldn't calibrate but we're going to go ahead and and get geared up here run a couple of we might have to run two um, sometimes i run two if i've got an engine that has a miss and it doesn't seem like it goes away after one flush so we may uh, switch off and run uh, two uh, gallons of uh, John Deere injector flush through the system see if we can clean those injectors up um, If we can't get the injectors cleaned enough or the engine runs smooth and we'll go ahead and perform a auto transmission cow, then we will have to uh, probably go in and put uh, Injectors in so we're gonna give that a shot see what happens and uh, go from there. We're gonna tie our flush gun in here at the back of the fuel filter housing I've taken the supply line loose here, okay, and I've got a fitting um, that we're going to jump in there with um, to run our flush, and then we're on, we're in front of the engine here. This line basically comes off and goes to our cooler, and then through our cooler, and then back to the fuel tank. We're going to tie in here and uh, try to go ahead and flush this whole uh, fuel system out good since we have had um, some water in the fuel system I've got my flush gun out ready to go here got my hoses uh, my supply return hoses here and i've got multiple fittings in here to use uh, i think we're probably gonna see we'll need that fitting and we'll probably use this guy here for our return we're gonna run this john deere uh, diesel injector cleaner be sure if you're doing this that um, you shake this up really well it says it there on the on the um, gallon of solution there to shake that up real well before you pour that into your flush gun here talking about diesel flush a little bit this is a really good this is a really good flush guys and a really good idea um, to do this annually um, I, I would say that uh, by all means, this is a good, good service to do annually with the fuel problems that we see um, and high-pressure common rail fuel systems that uh, do not like contaminated fuel and they don't, don't tolerate uh, water at all. And so it can save you a lot of money just doing this quick service. Now, talking about fuel flush, this fuel flush is a detergent additive that is in the fuel flush. Um, that really does a super good job of cleaning that fuel system. Now, we're going to install a filter in the top of this uh, flush gun here. This would be the filter. <clears throat> and basically, we're filtering uh, the return back from the engine through this, through this filter. I looked up the Micron on this one time. I can't remember exactly what it is offhand, but but it does catch a lot of that debris and a lot of that uh, deposits that come out of that fuel system, it will catch it here. Now, if you pull this filter out after you've run a full flush through and you take a look at it, and if it's really discolored, and especially if it's a black charcoal color, then you've really got a poor, poorly, poorly uh, fouled filter, okay? And when we have a fouled filter, that's a pretty good sign that you've got a lot of uh, bad uh, deposits in that fuel system. And so that's when I definitely would recommend going ahead and running a second gallon of flush through the fuel, fuel system to see um, if you can get that cleaned up, okay? So we're gonna get this hooked up real quick, show you what that looks like. I'll show you real quick um, installing this filter here, okay? We're gonna put that filter on this uh, fitting that goes in the top of our flush gun we're going to screw the canister on and i tell people don't tighten that up just super tight because it gets stuck there it's a little hard to get loose but uh we'll set that down there and it's ready to go we'll go ahead and shake our solution up and a lot of people when they buy this they say well um, this flush 
is uh, the, the can is not completely full or the gallon of solution here is not completely full. Um, you can see here that uh, it's showing about three uh, liters there. Or if you look on the back side there, kind of see it there. Okay, that's because you don't want to overfill these because if you overfill this and it's got a vent here in the top that you want to leave loose, okay, in the top of the flush gun because it needs a little bit of room in there in that flush gun to mix in with a little bit of fuel that's left in the system, okay? And you can see that's a pretty, that, that stuff is pretty thick uh, solution and uh, it almost has an oily, so, sort of an oily base to it there, okay? Uh, but it does a really good, super good job of, of cleaning and restoring that fuel system. Um, I've even had engines that had a really severe miss in the engine and uh, run a gallon of flush through it and about halfway through the flush cycle um, you can hear the engine change in sound and uh, start to clean up and run smooth. Um, I've experienced that firsthand several times doing injector flush. So just remember that, uh, call your dealer, uh, run a flush through your tractor or any uh, equipment that you have with a high pressure common fuel rail system in it. Um, it's a good, really, really good service, okay? So we're gonna get this hooked up and we'll start the machine, show you what it looks like. We've got our flush gun hooked up as you can see here. Okay, and we are running some flush through the system. Typically that'll take a uh, pretty good 30, 40 minutes time to run that flush through. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and run flush through for a little bit and I'll let you know how it turns out. We're still running our flush through. We're about halfway through here. As you can see, when you're running a flush, I like to run it about 1100 RPM. Uh, that's sort of what it says to do in service advisor. And then also make a couple of full throttle snaps. And what I mean by that is going from low idle to high idle and then back to low idle two or three times, uh, usually about every five, ten minutes through a flush cycle. Getting down to uh, basically down to the end of our flush. By the looks of the flush, the, it's got a little bit of uh, discoloration to the flush and so we'll kill it here in a few minutes pull the filter out take a look at that filter and i can tell the engine sounds a little smoother but i'm not sure that we have solved our injector issue and so we may run another gallon of flush through and see what it does i've got the flush gun disconnected here um, you can see the filter here uh, really doesn't look like it's fouled per se. Uh, it's pretty clean actually. The little bit of flush that was left in the gun is pretty clean. So I really don't think that it's worthwhile to run another gallon of flush through this unit. Um, that water in the fuel has basically got a couple of injectors sticking just enough that it's not creating any fault codes, but um, it will not complete an auto cal on the transmission because the transmission controller detects that slight difference in engine RPM. And so it looks like we're gonna run a cylinder cutout test, uh, get an idea of which cylinder we're dealing with, and probably go ahead and put uh, six new injectors in this engine.